Life, a series of crossroads, each branching out into a myriad of experiences. At every juncture, decisions beckon, and the haunting echo of uncertainty often sends us seeking the sage advice of counselors. Yet beware, for among the guiding lights lurk shadows that threaten to lead us astray. Have you ever found yourself entrusting your woes to a counselor, only to find the clouds of confusion thickening? The treacherous terrain of misguidance is not a modern-day predicament. Even the Stoic philosophers of ancient Greece, armed with the shield of rational thought, ventured through the dark woods of deceit in search of truth. Today we shall unmask the modern-day sirens, the toxic counselors who, under the guise of guidance, steer us towards the rocky shores of misery. With the wisdom of the ancients as our compass, let's navigate through the stormy seas and unveil the five counselors you do well to avoid, lest you fancy a voyage into the abyss of despair. 1. The Fearmonger In the eerie silence of uncertainty, the fearmonger's voice rings the loudest a cacophony of dread that seeks to shackle the soul in chains of fear. Like a tempest, they swoop into the calm waters of our minds, conjuring storms of anxiety with tales of catastrophic outcomes awaiting each misstep. Hafez once whispered through the corridors of time, Fear is the cheapest room in the house. I would like to see you living in better conditions. Yet this counselor chooses to lock you in this dingy chamber, feeding off your trepidation. In the lush garden of stoic wisdom, fear is but a weed to be uprooted with the gentle hands of understanding. A nurturing counselor would lend you a lantern of logic to traverse through the fog of fear, helping you discern shadows from true substance. The stoic's realm is one of serenity, where fears are dissected on the slab of reason, leaving no room for monsters to lurk. The fearmonger, however, thrives in the murkiness of your fears, constantly watering the seeds of dread, obstructing the sunlight of reason. Entrust not your voyage to this harbinger of storm, for a life in fear is a life half-lived. Seek instead the sage who clears the mist, leading you to the meadows of courage and clarity. Two the ego flatterer. Amid the echoes of self-doubt, the ego flatterer's voice emerges as a sweet serenade, spinning tales of your invincibility, of a you devoid of flaws. They craft a mirror of illusion, reflecting not your true self, but a grandiose image, a facade that veils the essence of growth. Rumi, the mystic poet, beckoned us to unfold our own myth not to be entrapped in false narratives that stifle the spirit's quest for truth. The stoic, anchored in the harbor of humility, seeks not the flatterer, but the sage who unveils the mirror of reality, who gently unravels the veil of ignorance, guiding the spirit towards the light of self-awareness. It's through the acknowledgement of our flaws the stoic believes that we carve the path of self-improvement forging ahead towards the pinnacle of personal growth. The ego flatterer, alas, leads you into a mirage of false superiority, a barren land where the seeds of growth find no soil to root. Beware the sweet poison of ego flattery, for it veils the eyes from the beauty of becoming, from the blossoming garden of self-realization that lies beyond the horizon of humility. And before we venture deeper, a brief Pit stop. Hit that subscribe button like it's a misguidance monster you're slaying. And fancy some wise reads to arm yourself against toxic counselors. Check the pinned comment for a treasure trove of books on Amazon. Your clicks fund our anti-toxic armor. Now, let's march ahead. 3. The Change Chaser In the whirlpool of modernity, the Change Chaser is the Pied Piper, leading the charge towards every shiny new doctrine that promises a swift sail to the shores of self-actualization. They lure you with seductive tunes of instant transformation, feeding the impatience that gnaws at the spirit in its quest for change. The Stoic, however, values the slow simmer of self-reflection, 
over the rapid boil of trendy solutions, believing in a deliberate chiseling away at the self to unveil the sculpture within. The Stoics' realm is a sanctuary of patience, a garden where seeds of change are tenderly nurtured with the waters of wisdom, blossoming over time into the trees of personal growth. The change chaser, on the other hand, sows seeds in the barren soil of fleeting trends, ushering you into a wild goose chase that leads nowhere but the abyss of frustration. The wise counsel of a stoic mentor encourages a gentle unfolding, a patient nurturing of the self towards the light of personal growth. Seek not the change chaser who leads you astray with the glitter of instant gratification, but the sage who guides you through the steady, enriching journey of self-evolution. 4. The Drama Queen Life, a play with a script, written by the hands of fate and choice. Yet the Drama Queen counselor insists on infusing your narrative with the tumult of their own chaotic saga. They thrive in the whirlpool of emotional tumult, spinning tales of endless conflict, veiling the tranquil skies of serenity. The Stoic seeks a sanctuary of calm amid the storm of life, a haven of clarity amidst the fog of emotional turbulence. Amid the turmoil, a Stoic counselor emerges as a lighthouse, guiding your vessel through the stormy seas towards the calm harbor of rational thought. The Stoic's compass is one of tranquility, steering clear of the tempests of emotional drama, navigating through the waves of life with a steady hand and a serene heart. The drama queen, however, revels in the storm, dragging you into a theater of endless drama, a script that leaves the spirit drained and disoriented. Venture not into the turbulent waters with this harbinger of havoc. Seek instead the sage who sails on the tranquil seas of stoic wisdom, leading you to the serene shores of clarity and peace. 5. The Past Peddler Like a ghost ship, the past peddler sails on the murky waters of bygone times, anchoring you to the shadows of yesterday. They revel in the relics of the past, dissecting old wounds under the guise of healing, yet leaving you tethered to the phantom pains. Rumi's wisdom rings through the ages. Don't grieve. Anything you lose comes round in another form. The Stoic, too, encourages a voyage into the dawn of tomorrow leaving the ghostly shores of the past. In the Stoic garden, the seeds of today are sown with hope, nurtured with the lessons harvested from yesterday's soil, blossoming into the flowers of tomorrow's joy. The past peddler, however, digs up old roots, entangling you in a thicket of past sorrows, veiling the horizon of hope that beckons. The voyage of life is a forward sail, and a wise counselor steers the helm towards the dawn of new possibilities, not into the night of past regrets. Shun the past peddler who anchors you to bygone storms, and seek the sage who navigates through the river of time, with eyes set on the promising shores of tomorrow. The journey, dear voyagers, doesn't end here. A vast ocean of stoic wisdom still beckons, its waves resonating with life lessons waiting to be unearthed. I invite you to set sail once more with me by diving into my playlist titled Stoic Life Lessons and Stoic Habits. Here, we shall continue to unravel the profound yet simple teachings of Stoicism, embracing the habits that fortify our vessel against the storms of life. Till next time, be your best friend and stay with the Creator.